everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. I'm excited today to give you a look at this Henry Margu style in a brand new Henry Margu color. This is Hayden and it's in the new color 88GR. I received this wig from Wig Studio One for this review today. I've posted the link to this product below. Go out and check out all of the beautiful colors. Also go out to Facebook and locate Wig Studio One Wigs and Topper Support Group. They're helping thousands of ladies find a style and make the most of their wigs and toppers. Hayden is a short cropped bob cut with lots of volume and unique curl. But first, I really want to break down this brand new color by Henry Margu called 88GR. 88GR begins with the deep strawberry honey blonde. And I hesitate just to say strawberry because strawberry blonde brings to mind some red gold colors. And that's really not what this is. So it's a deep honey with just a blush of strawberry and you'll be able to pick on that, uh, pick that up very easily here. And then it's very heavily highlighted with a pale gold blonde. And the, uh, the highlights are pretty chunky in areas, and what you'll find is that the highlights are actually concentrated at the tips. So not only is it highlighted, it is also tipped with that light gold blonde. And then you have a medium brown root. It's a beautiful color leaning on the warm side. This curly bob style has a lot going on. We have about a seven inch uh, front bang piece here that's gonna stretch down to about my chin. In the back, there's a 10 and a half inch crown and a four inch nape, and there's some layering on the sides. It weighs about three and a half ounces and features a hand tied temple to temple lace front with a full single monofilament top. Henry Margu has some of the most quality caps in the industry from my perspective. And uh, you'll see that those lace fronts are very fine. The knotting is very fine. It seems to gradually get thicker as you move back for a nice realistic look. And that mono part is fantastic. You can see scalp from no matter how you part it from the top. I have also noticed, and this is an amazing touch, that there seems to be fine little hairs that are steamed down across the face reaching from end to end on that lace front. This, this just adds to that beautiful natural touch. At first glance, this just looks like a cropped bob with lots and lots of volume and wave. There's a couple of things going on here that create this look. Underneath everything is a soft wave. Um, it creates a lot of volume and then sprinkled on the top is where you're going to find that extra delicate layer of more PC type of texture. Because of that, you're going to see kind of a wavy nape, a wavy voluminous nape and then as that crown layer has those uh, PC textures on it, it really creates a really nice ledge effect in the back and then along those PC layers, you're going to find little flips at the end. So it's a very exaggerated look in the back. This looks like a lot of hair, doesn't it? And it is a lot of hair. There's a lot going on, like I said, with all this texture, but you're also going to find a lot of permatease. This wig contains more permatease than any other wig I think I've ever experienced but it's done in a very nice way to support the unique look of this bob. You're gonna find these permatees all around, the mono top at the crown, heavy in the back, heavy at the nape, and heavy at the temple. There's not one space in this cap that doesn't have that thick, pillowy bottom tease. This will prevent the style from falling flat while providing ample coverage for the wefting. So while this may seem like a really dense wig, I look at this being a medium average kind of density and each of the fibers has a fine denier to it. There's quite a bit of silicone on this as it was shipped from the manufacturer and that's just to cut down on any kind of friction. And that will easily wear away or you could wash the wig initially 